Um, and then you've got the third game. As you can see, the covers look pretty much the same, like for every game. Um, once again, Phoenix Wright in small letters, Ace Attorney, big letters, Justice for All is the uh, subtitle. Um, this one introduced these things on the back, you can probably see them, called psych locks, um, which is basically when you're not in court, but you can still tell that somebody's lying and you want to prove them wrong. Uh, you basically have to present evidence to them that contradicts what they're saying so that it breaks the uh, imaginary locks that, for some reason, you can see. Um, there's a reason, but I'm just not going to tell you what it is because it's a spoiler. Um, so basically to them, they think that they're getting away with lying to you, but you can see these invisible locks on them, and when you present the evidence, the locks break one by one. So that's another cool feature. Um, and then the fourth game that came out was a bigger change. It's called Apollo Justice, Ace Attorney, and there's no subtitle. It's because they introduced this new character here, Apollo Justice, who, in case you haven't ever noticed, is tattooed on my arm. Um, so he's the main character, he's a new attorney, um, in this game, and, uh, this was my favorite game, actually. A lot of people will, uh, disagree with me and say that this was their least favorite game, because they don't like Apollo, but, um, I love Apollo. Um, so, there's Apollo, and then there's, like, a new, there's been, um, Miles Edgeworth was the, uh, I don't know if he's, yeah, he's on the cover of this one right here. He's usually the prosecutor in uh, most of the Phoenix Wright games, but the new prosecutor is Clavier um, on this game. Um, and then Trucy, she's your new sidekick instead of Maya. Um, this was my favorite game, I loved it. There was a lot of big plot twists in the story and stuff like that. Um, so that's the most recent one. Now, um, right now we are in January. In February, middle of February, they're coming out with another game, um, which I obviously don't have the box for because it's not out yet. Um, it's called Miles Edgeworth Investigations. It's a spin-off to the series. It's not the next, you know, Ace Attorney game. Um, they changed it up a little bit. You can control Edgeworth and walk him around the screen in like a third person view as opposed to just having the big sprites on the screen and being kind of first person. Um, but other than that, like, it's still pretty much the same gameplay. You do a lot of, like, similar to the Cyclox, you do stuff out of the courtroom, like, where you have to present evidence, um, and I guess they call it the logic and the deduce buttons on the screen. Um, I played a demo of it, and it's pretty cool, so I can't wait for that. Um, after that, they have announced that they are working on, uh, Gyakuten Saiban 5, which, um, that's what they call the game in Japan. Um, so the fifth one would be basically the game that comes after this. But they don't call it Ace Attorney in Japan. They call it Gyakuten Saiban, which means, um, comeback courtroom or turnabout trial. So that is kind of vague and doesn't really tell us whether the main character is going to be, um, Apollo Justice or Phoenix Wright again or some new character. So... It has been confirmed to be in the making, but we don't know anything about it since it's been announced, which was like two years ago. So, crossing my fingers that as soon as Miles Edgeworth comes out, they're going to come out with the information for Giaf 10 Saiban 5, and then that would basically come here because the series does pretty well in America. It doesn't have like record sales numbers or anything like, you know, Mario Brothers does or anything like that, but it does have a cult following. Uh, pretty much each of these games they've released for like a really limited time and then they all sold out and then a little while later they did a re-release of them which they also did with the Castlevania DS series because that was also really popular like among a select group of people so um, if you don't already have these games they're not impossible to find they are out of print but you can find them on eBay you can find used copies of them at GameStop um, so those are some places you might want to look. I do recommend playing all four of them and play them in order because even though they are somewhat separate, they make references to past games and the story is one long connecting story. So it does make much more sense if you do play them all and play them in order. Um, so I highly, highly, highly recommend them. Uh, I know they're just basically fancy, you know, beefed up 
text adventures, but they're incredibly funny. The artwork is um, really, really good. It's, you know, Japanese anime style. Um, the Some of the um, things you have to do in court are really tricky. Sometimes you'll be sitting there for, you know, an hour, like, which piece of evidence do I use? Um, the only downside is that you kind of cheat by... Um, by saving your game and then quitting and then coming back in and trying stuff over and over again, but don't do that. It takes away the fun. So um, that's it for my review. Um, go out and get those games. They're awesome. And until my next review, I'll see you guys later.